In this video, we'll show you how to make this ornament. She is darling. She's machine embroidery, freestanding applique. Her wings are organza, so you can see through them. She's just fun, and I hope this video will show you how easy she is to make her sleeve, her body, and her book. It's called Freestanding Applique. And the wings are done similar, except there's no batting in between the layers. So I've hooped a large hoop with water-soluble interfacing. I will do a, a layer on the back. I spray adhesive, or you can double layer it. It just needs a little more strength than one layer of water soluble interfacing. Now I make a sandwich, which is two pieces of fabric, wrong sides together in thin polyester bonnet batting. And I make it large enough for the piece that I'm going to sew. Now this is for the sleeve. And the sleeve needs the length of a large hoop, but it, it's narrow. So I can fit two in one hooping, which saves on water soluble interfacing. And I can make two angels by doing the whole thing in a big sandwich or I can do uh, two separate call up a different pattern to do the other sleeve because they're all formatted the same way. So I'm going to place this over the area that's going to be stitched for the sleeve. The first stage will be a single stitch of, and then I'll trim around that. The next stage of the applique will be a zigzag and then it will do the beautiful satin stitch all the way around this the angel has uh, the embroidery pattern that matches her skirt that will come along this part to make the head i stitched it out over water soluble interfacing just one layer of fabric and batting and the batting keeps the jump stitches on the back from showing and it sinks the little features down into the fabric which really looks cool then with a double thread I'm going to hand baste around the outside and pull it and then just stuff it as full as I can and then pull the fabric around that I, I push the batting down into the corners as I pull it. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to go back and forth with the thread across the edges evenly. It won't close all the way, and that's okay. It just creates more wrinkles to have it close all the way. Now, each of my components for my angel are finished, except for the hair. And I just use curly doll hair. I just do a search on Amazon, it comes up. And I'll just whack a piece that I think is enough. And with a double threaded needle with color that's similar to the hair, I'll just come up and grab little groups of hoops, groups of hoops. You can wind them around like that, and then I go back down where I came up, and come up in a different place, and grab a bunch of hoops, and then go back down. Go grab a bunch of hoops. I just work with it until I have enough hair. But she looks cute. She's Our cute. angel is finished. We attached her head to her little halo just with a few stitches. We wrapped her arm around. You can see here how I've attached her book. And then Put her wing on. I'll do a little hoop here for her to hang on the tree and I did a little bow here just for fun. Anyway, 
She turns out so cute. Come to our website and see the other little characters in our nativity. I think you'll enjoy this.